Okay, so from here, if you want to add a uh, an accessories, let's say a rail, parapet, a slab, so you can all you can also add that one under the component. So under this component, uh, earlier I've shown you that there is a component here, but you can also add a beam. Beam meaning there will be a profile. Uh, remember the profile that we created yesterday. See here this profile. So you can just simply go to this profile and then uh, uh, where is that others? Yes, this one. So here I have the parapet. Hit OK. And then from this parapet, you can just simply type the, the name. Let's say type here parapet. OK, and then this is the profile, uh, the material. Maybe the material is uh, C40. <clears throat> the color is 2. Okay, and then this time around, this time around, my reference, the reference that we are going to, uh, to use is 1 because the parapet will be placed here. So we need to use the 1. So under this point, er, yeah, uh, earlier we used the, uh, the center line, right? This time our reference is this point 1. Point 1 outer point one and then uh, along next and then this time also I can use the beam type maybe poly beam all right and then uh, the start of the chainage is zero up to 60 all right and then the interval maybe we put here uh, three three meters interval and then on plane just put it right Put it back and put it front for the meantime. Huh? And let's see what will be the outcome of this. So if I modify this, modify. So here, uh, I need to move it down uh, to the right, maybe negative 200. And then at depth, negative 300. So that it will be placed to the cor This corner will be placed to the uh, corner of 1. All right? So just simply uh, select again this bridge and then modify. <coughs> okay, so now this one is placed on that corner. All right? So you can do the same on the other side. Just simply copy this one and then change the, uh, the position. Instead of the rotation back, maybe you can use the rotation uh, front. Okay? But uh, <clears throat> that one, you can do that one uh, on your time. Because uh, after this, we're going to add now the, the uh, what do you call that? The uh, segment, right? right so i just use the poly beam if you look onto this one see there's a lot of points there huh? points so if it is a beam then you can uh, uh it will just a straight so this one actually i'm just preparing that one in case that there is something like a curve so you can use a poly beam but in the straight i also use the poly beam basically so for beam uh it's just a straight straight one so poly beam it will be a segmented yeah, it will be a curve, yeah. And then you can specify how many, how much will be the interval of that as a segment. 